I'm Amy. I'm living in Chrysalis. And I have one more quad to try in this. Let's get to it. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Always happy to see you. Um, yeah, so obviously another day of substitute teaching. I'm not sure I like this pairing together. Maybe I'll just ugh, untie this and leave it. I don't freaking know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, and I think I want to put some shoulder pads in this sweater. I feel like where the shoulder seams hit, it slopes slightly. So if I put in a shoulder pad, it'll kind of perk it up a little bit. No worries. I'm not going to do the 80s football shoulders. Nah. I, I used to cut those out of my clothes because I hated them so much in the 80s. You know what to do if you haven't already. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. I'm excited to get into my last quad of this. So in my test video earlier, I shot five looks, but I only showed you four of them because I accidentally repeated one with different clothes, different music, the whole bit. I'm going to go ahead and get into the colors. So there's no setting shade in this. That's all right. I've got, uh, I've got foundation on my eyelids as I usually do. So I'm going to go ahead and go right into cinnamon as my crease shade. I'm using this bad boy again. Yes, my little <laughs> fake toothbrush. And again, I like this for a good sweep, especially because for me, I putting putting a crease shade in my actual crease, which is right there, is kind of pointless. So I I like that this has a good sweep because it gives you an um almost a faux. Uh, faux cut crease and it's easier to see where it's easier to see as you're doing it where your fake uh, where your fake crease is going to wind up okay let's do you oh yes this this is a very pretty color and yeah it looks like a dark cinnamon now I'm going into Rum Punch for the outer eyelid and blend it up into the cinnamon. I'll be very interested to see how this turns out in daylight, but I think it's going to be another dreary day, so I don't even know if a daylight shot is going to be possible. We shall see. All right, let me hit that spot I often neglect there. Just to make a real effort to get right in there. Prance around. <laughs> it's not even Halloween yet. I'm using all these Christmassy names. That's so funny. But. I want to have a solid opinion of this palette for anyone that might be interested in it. Now, I think I showed you before. Actually, I know darn well I did because I have kind of an awesome thumbnail. I was a little disappointed that it ripped right there. I can glue it, and I might, but I did want to make sure that y'all knew that that is a thing. The package, I took a look at their little um, Christmas cookie palette trio set when I was at Ulta last. And um, yeah, that packaging seems like it's gonna fall apart in no time because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have a flip blade, it's like turns. And when it turns out, it's kind of wiggly. So that, oh, like the, the Christmas cookies are cute, but I wouldn't want them because that packaging is going to fall apart. That's something that would definitely, definitely need depotting. Probably sooner than this. <laughs> Which is a pity because the cookies are so cute. 
Now let's go to the North Pole. I think you can guess which one that is. And I've got my eyeliner brush, which I don't use for eyeliner, but I do use to kind of carve a little arch area for myself. Again, it's the limited real estate, but some of you might be new. I hope some of you are new. So I wanted to make sure to include it. I am planning to do sort of a tutorial on how, I, how and why I use the brushes that I do in most of my videos. I did, however, pick up, I won some brushes and I picked up a couple, so that's also going to be a thing. I'll be testing those out as well for my look. And I'm just going to blend out my little arch area and go do the things. I remembered what I forgot. I wanted to hit my lid a little bit with this, uh, with this North Pole. Since I've already done my eyeliner, I'm just going to go in very carefully with this little brush. Uh, I think this fell out of a palette. I don't even know which one. Oh, doesn't say a brand, so. Okay, let's see. All right. Now I've done the things. <laughs> so here's the final look. Do let me know what you think below. And if you have any thoughts, suggestions, anything like that, I've, of course, I'm super happy to hear them. I've got to get going to work. So don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe so I can eventually not have to get up at the crack of dawn or before dawn to go to work. <laughs> Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.